in my side of the conversation with regards to the RTX 4070 pricing leak that happened a few weeks ago about it being $750 was no chance that's going to happen. I even bet a 4070 Ti giveaway on it, and it turns out uh, some new sources are indicating, yeah, that's probably the case with video cards coming out saying that their sources are indicating the RTX 4070 should come in at the $599 price point, which is still a 20% or $100 price hike from the previous generation. RTX 3070. Video card saying that they confirmed this price with three sources and that they can change the price last minute. But I think 599 to maybe at most 699 is where I was expecting this thing to come in. 749 just never made a lick of sense. Even though the 4070 Ti was originally supposed to cost 900 bucks and it launched at 800 bucks, I just didn't see Nvidia being that non-product segmentized in their lineup to do that. And one of the responses that I got to that idea was that, well, Brett, what about the 1660 Super and the 1660 Ti? And I hear you on that. The only caveat that I would give to that argument is that those were technically a generation refresh, and that's what muddied the lineup. It was not the original launch that was weird. It was the additional cards added in after the fact, and we're still on the initial rollout out of the 40 series, I wouldn't doubt that a 4070 Super could potentially be stupidly priced and make things weird, but a 4070 still has to be clearly delineated from the 4070 Ti at 799, which is why 749 never made any sense. I think I understand 599. It is a bit more expensive. You are getting a few extra things. It is supposed to be faster than the 3070 Ti, which came in at 599. You're getting seven extra teraflops. You're getting four extra gigabytes of VRAM coming in at 21 gigabits per second, but you are getting less memory bandwidth because it's only on a 192 bit bus like the 4070 Ti is versus the 256 bit bus that was on the 3070 Ti and the 3070. So there are some compromises that are being made here that make this a slightly worse graphics card than the exact price point replacement. So Nvidia still not doing the right thing. I feel like this should be coming in at 499. That would still be appropriate. It would have faster memory bandwidth than the 3070 and it would actually be a legitimate upgrade and almost every way over the 3070, but it's not a complete replacement for the 3070 Ti because of that 100 gigabytes less per second of memory bandwidth. I am not a huge fan of the 4070, but we only have to wait a little while longer to see the benchmarks. It's supposed to be launching April 13th, and we have confirmed with Micro Center that we're gonna be doing a live stream at their store for the launch of it, so you can be excited to watch that happen when it does. 